what do you do with an abundance of eggs? So something I decided I was gonna go ahead and do is I was gonna do some meal prep. And G likes a quick breakfast before he heads out the door to do chores and all of that. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm just gonna show you a super easy way to kind of clean out the refrigerator a little bit. When you find a good sale on something and you just go ahead and pick it up, what do you do with it? And then we're gonna go into what to do with all those extra eggs. So, and a little food preserving at the end. So come on, let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome to the other side of the homestead. You're in the kitchen with Yoda. Okay, so here's what we got. I got some eggs going on over here. We're gonna get those started, get those cooking. <clears throat> and then I've got about four pounds of chorizo, beef chorizo over here. So we're gonna get that started, get that cooking up. We're gonna just put together a quick uh, and easy, quick, easy Mexican scramble. So. In my eggs, here's what I like to do. I like to take the raw milk and I add some raw milk to it. This is gonna help make your eggs nice and fluffy. Now be aware when you add the milk, it's also going to um, take the eggs a little bit longer to cook. <clears throat> so we'll just keep checking on that. I've got some spices from a previous meal um, that I did that I just left in here because I like the way they taste together. So I'm going to use those to season my eggs. Right. And then handy spoon. Try and chop all this up. All right. So now we've got the chorizo cooked down. I've added one pound of green pepper, red pepper, and white onion. Just some chunks, just added that up in here. Throw that down on simmer so that we can finish the eggs. Cover it and leave it. Now our eggs are starting to get to where we want to look at adding the cheese. So, you don't want your cheese to burn to the pan. So right about here, this consistency is where I like to add it. Let's see, I've got one package that desperately needs to get used up. And just throw in as much cheese as you want. I've got about uh, four and a half dozen eggs in here. So I'm gonna do about, no, it's probably two cups, two and a half cups. And I'm just gonna melt this in. See how nice and fluffy that milk makes the eggs? It just makes a huge difference. It's getting cheesy in there. Okay, right about there. Now I'm gonna turn the fire down to a simmer. And we're going to add our chorizo to the eggs and our peppers. Might be a little tight for this pan, but we're going to make it work. Scrape all that goodness in there. Okay. And we're just gonna stir it. Okay, so I'm gonna get this stirred up and then I'm gonna take you over to the preservation. Okay, so here's what I decided. I got this mixed up. So I put it in a much larger bowl, got it all mixed up, and I'm not liking how greasy it looks. So you be the judge of how you wanna do it, but uh, I'm going ahead and I'm putting another two dozen eggs. So I'll go through this process, mix it up. As soon as I'm done there, then um, we'll head over to the other spot. I just wanted to let you know, this is all adjustable. And so just use what you got and go from there. All right, be right back. So there's what we've got. So that is going to be breakfast. Actually, it's gonna be my dinner. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the food saver. Let's see if we can get that in there. And I'm sure many of you have seen this before. And it comes with these uh, rolls. You can get the rolls or you can get bags already cut. So I'm just gonna add these in, get them bagged up. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, cool this down and then get everything put away.
easy way to get everything um, prepared and taken care of, of easy meals for G and um, super quick to just pull out and have for dinner. So, all right guys, so get creative and uh, figure out what you got in the fridge. It's time to start getting rid of some stuff, get it cooked up and then get it put away. That way you can get at least another six months of shelf life, uh, excuse me, at least another six months of preservation out of that food. Don't let it go bad. We throw away so much food in the United States, it's ridiculous. So <clears throat> let's take care of it and go ahead. Take, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, throw some meals together and um, just put them away, throw them in the freezer and then quick, easy way to take them out. I'll just put a few in the refrigerator for G. He'll eat on them this week, pull out a few more uh, next week out of the freezer and he'll eat those. So always good, quick and easy. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. And um, like I said, just get creative. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Uh, just think of what sounds good and throw it together. All right, guys, till next time. Go live a life done free. Thanks, Milo.